Hi guys, I received a comment on my profile from Sonic KO. I've temporarily enabled the comments to show you, but normally you can contact me on mob3.co.uk. So he said, is there any way you can take a part of a visualizer from let's say Windows Media Player or iTunes and turn it into your screensaver or turn a video file, Abby ETC I think that means, into a screensaver? Um, now initially I didn't think it was possible but I just sat and looked at the question and now it's come to me what you can do so um, now your first part of your question here um, if you can take apart from a visualizer what I was thinking is that you could probably use something like cam studio to record your visualizer first and then um, then you can sort of have it as an Abbey file and then you can convert it using the method I'm going to show you or um, but then doing it this way this records sound but then you can disable the sound if you don't want it um, so uh, you might want to screen record your visualizer because I'm not sure of a way that will directly change it to a screensaver but anyway so screen record whatever you want or I'm gonna grab a video file from the internet so I went to altavista.com and I was looking for a video file so I unticked Avi QuickTime Windows Media Player Real Flash Other um, you can use these formats, I believe, with this, but I'll show you in a second. I just typed in matrix. Um, oops, that's Amtrix. <laughs> matrix. There we go. And I chose the second one. I just right-clicked, saved it, and um, it went on my desktop. And I thought I did. I thought it was just a scene from the Matrix, but it turns out it's um, something called Fart Matrix. You have to see it. You won't be able to see it on this, but basically, it's a Matrix scene, and it's got farts in it. But yeah, it's hilarious. I was I was off my seat laughing. It was that funny. But anyway, um, I'm gonna try and set this as my screensaver. Now um, it will have sound and, and video as well, so don't worry about that. Now, if you've heard of something called Earth and View, I've talked about it before. It's basically for pictures. Uh, if you have images, you can quickly open them, and um, you can yeah, basically <laughs> that's about it really. You can open them, convert them, add filters to them, things like that. But did you know that you can use Earth and View to open video files and flash files and things like that? Well, if you didn't, I'm about to show you that you can do it. So, um, now downloading Earth and View. So, eventually, it's it'll be done. There we go. I'm going to install it. So, create blah, 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 blah. Next. Next. Images only I'm going to have because I actually use Earth and View as my main one. I'm going to untick the crap that they asked me to install. Next. And the destination directory is Earth and View. Yes and it's installed. Now next up is to go to their home page again and we want the plugins and it says alternative download site earth view plugins so I'm going to select that, click save and wow that's done already. <laughs> so I'm then going to install that so it just does exactly the same thing next and it's installed. So it's all ready to go you have earth view installed and you have the plugins installed. So we're going to open it and you'll notice that it's got a box here and it's ready to, well usually it would be ready to open a picture and then you can do stuff to it because you've got stuff like vertical flip, negatives, effects and stuff like that but what the, we're going to do is actually right click this matrix file and open it inside Earth and View so if I right click it now I've already made the extension for it here but you may have to go to choose program and then find Earth and View but I'm going to open it and you'll notice you might not see that but it's um, actually got uh, my MPEG file and it's opened it in Earth and View. So we c now know that we can use this as a screensaver. Now how are we going to do this? Well if you notice at the top it's got open and it's got slideshow. Now what I want you to do is click slideshow and you've got a load of options here. Um, some are quite confused and I don't even bother with it <laughs> to be honest. I'm just going to show you a specific thing. So what it says as default it says common graphic files so this will enable you to add a bunch of um, pictures and uh, have them as a slideshow and then you can apply them as a slideshow for your screensaver if you really want to which I'll be showing you how to do in a second but for the time being we actually want to do an MPG so you'll see the files to type we're going to scroll down to MPG and my uh, matrix P MPG is on, a, on the desktop so we're going to switch to desktop click matrix.mpg, you'll notice there's a preview down there, you might not be able to see it but then we're going to say add so in the slideshow I now have matrix.png which is a file so we're going to scroll all the way over to here and you'll see it says play in full screen mode current monitor you want to click that and you'll notice it says fit to screen large images only recommended, now we're actually going to change this, we're going to say stretch all images movies to screen 
so I'm going to stretch it so it fills my entire screen when it plays my movie. We're then going to click OK and uh, you're ready to go really so you'll notice there's a thing down here and it says save slideshow as exe slash scr click that then we're going to create an scr file click that and uh, we're going to leave it in the play and full screen mode because we've set the full screen mode options and the result I'm going to put it onto desktop and what are we going to call it? I'll call it uh, I don't know matrixy I th I've already made this to make sure it works and it does work so um, the other one's called matrix so I'm going to call this matrixy so I'm going to create it, operation done, no errors, warnings, that's great. That means it worked and it's done and it's fine. So, um, we're now going to come out of Earth and View. And you'll notice on my desktop I now have an SCR file. So I'm going to right click this and press and click install. And you'll notice that it's now in my display properties and it's got my video in the... I'm actually going to stop that because the preview. it's in the preview of... Um, Stop it, and it's in the preview. So, Matrix is now my screensaver. If I preview it, you may not see, but it is the video I want, and it's in full screen on my monitor, and it's got sound as well. So, I'm going to keep cancelling that because I keep starting it. So, um, it will loop. So, um, that is matrix with sound as a screensaver and that's pretty much it really you'll notice that there was a little slider at the bottom you can move that along I think if you're doing your screensaver or something but anyway um, that is using a video as a screensaver and this will also apply to anything that you can open with Earth and View you just click the slideshow you can have uh, multiple pictures multiple videos um, all the files that it supports here it looks like it, you can add into it which is loads <laughs> so um, I haven't seen a tutorial on it before, I haven't seen anything on it before, so I just thought I'd share it with you. Uh, Earth and View can open video files as well as pictures, so you can also make a screensaver out of it. So, thanks for watching my video, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.